Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Cal Royal number HPDL258 US10B. This is a hotel privacy door latch. This is like the modern version of the door guards with the flip over uh, door guard assembly, uh, which is a probably an evolution after the chain style door guard. That's what it looks like. We're going to cut it out of the package and inspect it. Uh, there uh, are other finishes that this item is available in, and you'll be able to do those in a, obviously in the 10B finish, which is seen here. But you'll be able to, and I'm looking at them, the US 26, which is polished chrome, US 26D satin chrome, US 3 polished brass, US 4 satin brass. Okay. Now, I want to be mindful that there's uh, no confusion about this item and the fact that they call it oil rubbed bronze. Very stiff, stiff operation on this. I would expect that that will loosen up. Um, this is what they call oil rubbed bronze. This is not, I think the term, I don't think. I. The, the term oil rub bronze is used very loosely in our industry and some people use it correctly and others use it um, ignorantly in my opinion. Um, why is that the case? Well my mouse is black and while you can tell, you can tell this is not black. It does have a hint of bronze to it. Um, there needs to be a new term used for this rather than oil rubbed bronze and I don't want you to get this and say wow that is so dark it's black this is what you're getting this is it they don't make these in a oil rubbed bronze true oil rub bronze which means it's a bronze brass base material with an oil rub process on it this is clearly a powder coated type finish over a base material that's probably zinc would be my guess because it's heavy and non-magnetic, weighs 0.78 pound it does, at least with its accoutrement. The fact of the matter is, this is what it's going to look like. Will it be complementary to oil rubbed? Sure it will, of course it is. Is it dark? It is, it's awfully dark. But if you're going with oil rub bronze, especially, especially modern oil rub bronze, where it's not brass or bronze based material, and it is a powder coated finish, this will certainly be complementary. Just understand going in what you're dealing with in terms of this finish. Uh, and by the way, there really are none that are from any uh, provider of this material that you're going to get a true oil rubbed bronze. It's really only variations on just exactly how dark the material is. And it sounds like um, backing up about the oil rubbed bronze, you know, that I chafe a bit because of the use of the term, and it's because I do. Um, this is not oil rubbed bronze, is the bottom line. This is a dark bronze, extra dark bronze powder coat is what I would call this. I would not use the words oil or bronze together in this. Moving forward. Now, uh, we talked about the different finishes that this is available in. And below this video are a couple of links that we need to talk about. First of all is a link to the cut sheet, a very handy document that will give you an overview of the operation and most likely if you've been in a hotel room in the last five years you've probably seen this item. Let's tackle that document now. So the Cal Royal Hospital Door Latch, the Hospital Privacy Door Latch, HPDL, is recommended for use on in environments with corridor to room openings such as hotels, dormitories, apartments, and even private re residences. I have sold this to people in their, uh, for use in their homes. The latch would allow the door to be partially opened for identification while providing privacy and security for the resident. The HPDL in the open position cannot be used to hold the door open, uh, which is one reason that people like it because you can't keep it ajar, uh, meaning that it is uh, compliant with fire rated code. Whereas a door guard, you could prevent the door from reclosing. I should say relatching. That's a violation. So that's a problem. Uh, code inspectors need to keep people safe as much as humanly possible within code. 
and having code compliant fire rated hardware as part of that. Uh, the HPDL in the open position cannot be used to hold the door open because the door would close, hitting that and making it close. The silicon pads, which are nice, not every model in the world available has these. Keep that nice and neat and tucked away. Additional protection for the door and act as silencers when the latch is closed forcefully. You really can't, you can't hear it make contact. I'm holding it to the microphone, I'm trying to close it. You, you just can't hear it. That's really nice, especially in a hotel. Uh, hotel management likes that a lot. It's so UL classified as a fire door accessory, meets the requirements of NFPA 80, which is the code book governing most, much of our industry, and uh, which requires auxiliary hardware to not interfere or prohibit the proper operation of fire doors. Uh, not to be blocked or wedged in the open position, and it's ADA compliant as well, which is uh, certainly, of course, uh, a good incorporated feature of the HPDL. Uh, simple to operate, easy to install, and moving down further into the uh, cut sheet as well, a tr in indeed made of zinc die cast go over some dimensional properties next. We've got a height of this item at two and an eighth. Nowhere around here is it two and an eighth. Two and five eighths. Not sure where that's coming from. The height of the unit, two and five eighths. Okay. The width of the base, inch and a half. About inch and nine sixteenths, I'd say. Height of the keeper itself, about an inch and seven eighths, is going to have an overall projection from the face of the jam to the face of the unit at about two and three sixteenths. Okay. Images there, dimensional properties are there. Overall width two and three quarter. I didn't measure, but you can see that there as well. Let's eyeball that just since we've already taken so many dimensions. I'd say that'd be about accurate as well, two and three quarter. That's a one page document. Now we're moving into the installation instructions, which will be, of course, included with your uh, hardware itself. The installation instructions are linked below this video. They are included with the paperwork, and let's go over it now. Uh, so they're basically visually showing you how the item is going to install with um, you know, this portion going away from the door, mounted on the face of the frame on the pull side of the opening. So where we've not really where where we've not sold this to people is when they have a hotel built in the 1930s. And they've got extremely ornate woodwork on the inside. Now, I have been in those instances and seen where they've chiseled out a substantial amount of that to create a flattened, recessed pocket area to receive this unit. But ornate trim like that, the historic Peabody Hotel in Memphis, the Ritz-Carlton in Naples, Florida, these are places that have, um, that's actually a bad example. Anyway, you see the point. Historic older hotels, actually the one in Key Biscayne, Florida, I think might, might have ornate trim. Um, applications like that get into a situation where you have to account for how you're going to install this modern hardware. So be mindful of that. The closed position and open position really elegantly demonstrate how this works. So from your perspective, you've got a door that swings in and it would be a right hand. You're on the inside of the opening, and my fist represents the, the door, but when you throw this, now all, all of a sudden the door can only open the space from the, the rabbit of the frame to the keeper position. So we'll only open that dimension, which, you know, isn't very much. You know, probably in the range of about two and an eighth inch is what it's going to move total. So you'll be able to see just a little sliver of what's happening outside. And that's how this is going to work. And, and obviously they're completely reversible and non-handed. Okay. Completely reversible, non-handed. 
Getting into the installation instructions, you're going to want to be mindful of setting back the plate from the edge ever so slightly, one eighth of an inch from where the rabbit of the frame starts. Scooch this back an eighth of an inch, okay? Because you're going to want to be uh, careful to, for that the door will clear the hardware and make no problem in that regard. Mark the mounting height on the door inside of door, one foot above the lever or as desired. Um, and that would give you an installation that would be typical. You know, a, a foot above where you're going to install it will fall it into uh, a height that would be normal. Uh, so, you know, adjust as necessary is the point. Step two, leave a sixteenth of an inch from the edge of the door to the edge of the latch. Mark your three holes. I did say an eighth of an inch earlier. I can see now that my eyes deceived me, and it does say a sixteenth of an inch. Center punch and drill three five thirty second holes. So you're going to locate your mounting holes. Double check everything that you've got the positioning right vertically and, and the sixteenth of an inch. Mark them, then center punch them. And the center punch is important because it will allow that drill bit to drill true and straight in the exact center of the hole that you intend to drill. Install the three sheet metal screws. I want to take the screws out of the packaging because there's a unique item herein that I wish to review. Oh yeah. Okay. So they say the three sheet metal screws. Well, you got these are sheet metal screws. They're quite long as well, and hopefully, um, you'll have a stud behind there in which to engage, uh, which would be normal construction, double wood stud at the end of a door. To test, open the door latch and put the swing arm of the latch in the open position. Then slowly close the door, making sure that this falls and the door closes. The door should close freely, whole pushing the swing arm, wholly pushing the swing arm to its closed position. Moving into step two, they give the dimensional locations of those areas. Now, what they also offer are these riv nuts, which are really nice because it's very possible that you have an installation where you do not have reinforcement behind. So if you're going to do a riv nut installation, you're going to get into uh, page two, mark the mounting height, etc. Leave an eighth of an inch from the edge to the latch, mark your three holes. This time, center punch and drill three 11 30 second pilot holes and install the three riv nuts. And there are indeed three of these. Use a rivet nut tool to securely fasten the riv nuts in place. And what that's really going to do is give you the ability to crimp this so that they are held captive in the wall thickness of the frame. Then at which point you'll run the included three. I would say that these, I don't actually know what thread these are. They could be quarter 20. I don't know. And then you'll run the three machine screws into the riv nuts once they're securely in place. Okay. And a rivet nut tool is basically going to, it's like a pop rivet gun, except that it works with something that's threaded, where you will insert the threaded piece into the threads, connect that to your rivet gun, and pull that, and it's going to fold this metal over. And you can kind of see where it's been prepared to be folded over. You can see a little deflection in the paint color. Anyway, that's how that's going to work. That's a good, reasonable way to install this material as well. But proper construction would give you double wood studs behind the construction. Um, hopefully that's the case. The balance of the installation instructions are now exhausted. Riv nuts, test the installation, and then be done with it. Um, obviously, um, so what's nice about this is that underneath the head of the riv nuts, Cal Royal has been smart enough to make clearance for that head. And I'll tell you, I've reviewed these, ho these hotel privacy door latches from 
at least three other manufacturers or people who bring them in from overseas. And it's only Cal Royal who has the Rivnut option, along with the fact that they've made an account uh, that an accounting for the head of that nut as well. Very smart. Um, and I can go a long way to forgive the fact that they're calling this oil rub bronze when the engineering of the hardware is so intelligent. Uh, now, finally, there's a link below this video to the installation, pardon me, to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up all of the Cal Royal products that we sell. Uh, a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to their full product catalog. The name Cal Royal is synonymous with very good quality commercial and residential builders hardware. Their line has steadily increased in magnitude constantly in the last 20 years that I've been using them and they go back longer than that that's to be sure. Um, they are a company that has a very good customer service department. They are prompt, reliable, and predictable with their shipping lead times. They rarely have to be told multiple times to get something out and take pride in the quality of the job that they do. And that's the reason why I continue to use them. Because, quite frankly, someone who imports builder, high quality builder's hardware from overseas, that's one in a, that's one, that's a, that's a dime a dozen. Uh, but what you don't get from all the people that do it is customer service as well as Cal Royal. And that's why they continue to get my business, probably partially because I've got a lot of their part numbers memorized and I'm lazy in that regard. But if they weren't getting the job done, I would memorize different part numbers and I don't. If you have any questions on the Cal Royal, whoop, hey oh, HPDL 258 US 10B Hotel Privacy Door Latch or any other Cal Royal product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.